that same bitch that a slice of niggas tires. Look him in his face, say I love him, I'm a liar. I love how he tricky, wanna put me in designer. I'ma make him work for the cookie nigga work. Well, right now I'm just manifesting better energy. You know, I want to have more um, money. And I want to have more discipline. Like, I need more discipline. I mean, give or take, I'm cool for what I'm doing, but I need more discipline in my life. So, I've been trying to work on, like, you know, making sure that I, like, if I set a goal, I'm going to do it. If I'm a, like, for example, right now, I'm trying to set a goal of not drinking no more juice for a little bit. By the time y'all see this vlog, though, these scarf, I'm selling everything 50% off. I'm trying to um make room for some new stuff. So, my glam gang bonnets, edgy wraps, um, scarves, all that is going to be 50% off. So, definitely make sure you check out the website. Hopefully by the time y'all get over there, it's not sold out, but definitely check it out. So now I'm about to do my makeup and then get ready for, um, to film some videos and content. And then also, I'm going to take it upon myself. Ow. And also, I'm going to take it upon myself to do. What else I'm going to take it upon myself to do? Um, I need to take some pictures today. I need to really just get my bag. So, with that being said, girl, I'm, I'm over here trying to waist train, get my waist together. I got two waist trainers on right now. So, the vibes your girl's trying to give is very slender. But before I used to have a waist trainer, it used to be so much like fat back there. Like, it literally would be like crazy amount. But now it don't be looking like that. So, I know I'm toning up. But nonetheless, I'll probably see you guys. I'll see you guys shortly. Oh my God. So y'all, I did my hair and it turned out so cute. I got to cut the lace off now though. Hey y'all. So here's what it looks like without the lace being cut off. But I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to have to do a voiceover for the rest of it because I don't want that noise out the background to be like loud. So let's start it with a voiceover now. <laughs> I didn't even tell y'all. So I literally did this review on this hair. And now I am about to go take some pictures. I'm transferring Erin's pictures to her hard drive. And yes, cute bitch. Pretty bitch music. But yes, I'm so cute, bitch. Mm. I got this, somebody sent me this swimsuit. And I was like, this is the perfect little swimsuit to get the vibe. <laughs> but I really like this hair, actually. I'm surprised at how much I like this hair. This is cute. Let me show y'all a little view. Hey, pumpkin. Not you on your little bed sitting outside looking at the city, looking at the streets. Period. What, bitch? You. Oh, oh my god. I did another shoot, bitch. A successful shoot. I need another muse, though. What? the only what? bitch I think could have Who? You. <laughs> I, need, I need some more bitches to take pictures of. <laughs> but no, I would have recorded for Who better than me? I was too cold. Who? I ain't even sure I had that time. <laughs> you just say that. Child, I'm hungry. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm just Who? Look straight up. The other The builder, bitch. <gasps> So hey y'all, I just literally got back to my house 
Every time I go over Aaron's house, she be wanting me to hang the fuck out. And bitch, I could not do it. I'm hungry. I'm so damn hungry. And I knew if I ended up hanging out with Aaron, I would have ate unhealthy. Because it's like a little stole down the street. And I damn sure would have wanted to go. So I was like, girl, let me go ahead and just stick to my diet. Um, Right now, I'm about to cook me some chicken. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, so I ended up eating and I forgot to let you guys know. So I made some Mexican cauliflower rice. It was so good. I'll send you guys a picture. And I ended up making me some little chicken, baked chicken, as well as some broccoli for my little healthy dinner. But I'll insert a picture so you guys can see. It was really, really good. Healthy dinner for me to eat and it tastes very yummy. Hey y'all, good morning. How are y'all feeling? I literally woke up. It's about like 7 a.m. And I did my little routine on my face. I went ahead and did my little routine on my face. That's why I'm like looking so glowy. And now I'm about to hurry up and get my clothes on. Um, so I gotta go to Vegas today. <laughs> did I even tell y'all this? I went, I'm going to Vegas for like literally. I don't even think I told y'all this. I'm going to Vegas for like literally one day, which is today and flying out. So um, I bought my flight last night. But I leave this afternoon, so it's not nowhere I'm like trying to kick it. To be honest, I don't know where that real quick. Show y'all. Oh, this is my night jammies. I got them from Sheehan if y'all are curious. Okay, y'all. So I ended up just putting my clothes on real quick. And I think I'm going to do like a little makeup tutorial, five minute makeup tutorial on the plane. I don't know. It might not work out because I might not even end up feeling like putting makeup on, but I'm just still going to see. How I still feel to do it. Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't feel sleepy, which is actually really good. Because I'm always freaking like something. What the hell is all my products? I'm just making sure it don't get me. Oh. I should have shaped this hair, but I didn't have time yesterday. But nonetheless, you know, your girl's here. So hey y'all, I finally got out the house. And when I tell y'all right now, I literally feel like, um, I feel rejuvenated. I'm not even going to cap. I feel okay. I just, baby, I promise you. What is this? Where's my um lip glow type stuff? I don't know, but let me take this out my bag too. But y'all, mm. hey y'all. So basically, I'm going to Vegas for this one day. I don't. I thought I was going to tell y'all yesterday, but I think that I got so busy with like other people, and I had to have a conversation with somebody that I kind of forgot. So. Here I am telling y'all now. Y'all, first off, y'all know we talk about stuff over here. Girl, did y'all hear about the stuff with Perkyo and them? I feel like that's so crazy to me about the whole 6ix9ine Perkyo situation because to me, it's like, do y'all think Perkyo was in the wrong? Like, from the gist of it, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, another YouTuber um, ended up asking Perkyo, which is fake dirt because they look alike. And Dirk started hanging with him. Okay, first off, Dirk. <clears throat> let me get the background for everybody that don't know. Lil Dirk and Six Nine has beef. So, um, this popular YouTube. So, Dirk started hanging out with this boy, or the boy started hanging out with Dirk that looked like him. Basically, he really looked like him, like a light skinned version of Dirk. So after they started hanging and stuff like that, freaking this big big YouTuber ended up telling um right reaching out to Perkyo, which is fake dirt, to Link and say he wanted to do videos with him. So, Perkyo was fine with that. He was cool with it. So, basically, <clears throat> he was cool with it. So, once he gets to the hotel and stuff, they going upstairs and basically, um, 6 9 I'm pretty much either paid or did something to get the big YouTuber to get Lil Dirt 
get fake Little Dirk to come to the hotel so that they could do some type of, or some restaurant or something, I don't know what it was, but so that they could do some type of video with him. You get what I'm saying? So I guess it's like throwing shots at Dirk and them and Vaughn and shit. Vaughn is Dirk's friend that passed away. If you don't really know this stuff, then this story probably is like pointless. But girl, apparently, when little fake Dirk get up there, six nine and them kind of like all on him, kind of. I'm not gonna say ambushed him, but just a little, just a little bit they did. <laughs> and he looks scared in the video. I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like with you not really being like that, that shit can be intimidating. Um, so he didn't do the video. He kept saying he wasn't gonna do the video, but he still took the money. I mean, low key, I still probably would have took the fucking money too. But how y'all feel about that situation? I feel like they knew what they was doing setting that boy up, and they knew that boy wasn't built like that. Nonetheless. The whole situation is just real crazy, you know. My hair look a lot better now, cause that way when it dry, it'll dry with some type of uniform versus Stacy just being out here in the streets. Cause she was out here in the streets just minute, bro. But I, like I said, I'm gonna do this whole install over because I do not like the way it really looks. I just didn't have enough time to really do something with it today. So when I get back home, don't worry, it'll be way. Way better. Okay, you guys, so I never did come back on the camera to give you a little read of what ended up happening. So first off, I ended up getting to the airport and I went hella late because I knew I was only staying for like one day. And when I got there, basically all the parking in the parking garage was closed. So I, cause I ended up driving there, I didn't Uber, which is the first time I've ever tried to drive to LAX, but whatever, I tried to, and I can't get through. And then when I tried to go to the other parking, it was like $70. And even with the way that they were trying to do the valet for the $70 parking, it wasn't like I could just park and go right into the airport. It was like it still was going to be a couple minutes. So I was like, dang, I'm probably going to most likely end up missing my flight. Otherwise, I would have just went ahead and bit the bullet and got my money back from somebody else. But um, yeah, so I was like, hell no, I'm going home. So I ended up going home child and I didn't get on my flight because I thought I really was going to miss it but I'm kind of mad because I thought that would have been pretty lit me being in Vegas but neither here nor there y'all know I live in LA so it's not that far-fetched for me to do it again but yes honey that was gonna be a little escapade but until next time boo hey y'all that damn thing that went in my other room let me go get it I got my waist trainer on. I actually post this on my Amazon store. Ooh, I gotta get my nuggets. So let me tell you. So basically, I went and worked out today. I was not in the mood to work out. I promise you I wasn't. But I was like, you know, I'm a press and make myself do it. And I'm glad I did because it ended up turning out amazing for me. And I got my waist trainer on. When I wear them other waist trainers, they got too much bone in it. And they be bruising my body. And you can see it because I'm lighter. And then also... They just be very uncomfortable. But I've been wearing like these waist trainers. Um, the one I put on my Amazon store, the one that wrap around. And I actually like this because it's a lot more comfortable and it's a lot more snug. So I'm gonna start trying to wear this all the time. Like literally like all the time. And I'm also trying to get back into my thigh. My thigh was like an extra small, small. So, you know, I'm working on that. But I really have been working out and doing my thing. So, you know. And then tonight, I ended up getting invited to go to this party. It's like a five-year-old party, um, five-year-old rapper. So I'm gonna go to that with my homegirl, Erin. So I cleaned my house up because Erica, oh, I didn't know if y'all knew I'm like producing this show. Yes, I'm executive producer of this show um, coming out very soon, well, not very soon, but we're shooting it now. And they're coming over here to shoot a few scenes. So while they're shooting them scenes, I'm gonna start like, be back and forth between the scenes and getting ready scenes getting ready but i'm doing it alongside my girl erica she is the bomb.com y'all y'all gonna love this shit when it come out y'all gonna be like that shit is lit that shit is popping like the storyline characters like everything is lit um but yeah and then also then i've been sick a little bit because she went in the trash and ate something that she wasn't supposed to eat and it didn't digest in her stomach so she's been kind of sick but i'm gonna um, cook her some boiled chicken and rice not tonight, but tomorrow. If she don't eat some of her food by tomorrow, I'm going to do that. Because I wasn't cooking there, but it's in, it's frozen. Hey. Look at you. You don't even look right. Come here. You don't even look okay. 
You look like a sick baby. You're sick. Yeah, sicky. Sicky on. So yeah, that's what's been occurring now. Um, but I gotta get dressed. I got me a new curly wig. I'm, I'm, I'm that bitch and I'm not your bitch. Period. You'll never find another bitch like this. Girl, I'm not a lame, period. I'm not a... I don't want to be a main thing. I don't want to be a main thing, period. Fuck these niggas. <laughs> but, okay, let me charge my little um, battery up because I don't know where the other one is at. And then, yeah, see y'all in a few. Hey, y'all, we dressed. I guess I'm nice for you. Very She's dressed. going through my um my work. It's phenomenal. Period. Book Top me. Tier. I got to figure out a name. But what's wrong with it? No, I was just saying, I don't... You didn't like that one? You just sent it to me. I know. I thought it was cute, but you did know. Oh, you didn't said, like it LOL. for the post. Yeah, but I think it's cute. It, it looks like something you should, like, hang something. in your house. Yeah, I feel that. I would like it in my house, actually. That's it's, like, it. abstract -y. Yeah, it is. You know, that's what I want to start doing, Um, taking my photos now and start... Because um, I feel like, okay, everybody does things so digitally. Yeah. So I want to start taking like the photos I have and printing them out and doing a photo album so that like when I have kids and stuff they can really look back at shit. Yeah. You think about it. All my old shit is on old phones. Then I done lost the old phones. Absolutely. Quality's done depreciated. All types of stuff. So I feel like. You know, Cause I have albums for, for like me and Rich. You know what I'm saying? But like I was just thinking that because I know I don't post everything on Instagram. <laughs> Oops. Like I barely post on Instagram, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I want to see those real pictures. Yeah, that's cute. Period. So we're on our way to this party. We about to see what it's gonna give. What is supposed to give? Oh my god! I wish I could have filmed some of the production, bitch. <laughs> I told this hoe, I said, I don't know if you want to come over right now because it's about 20 people in my house. She thought I was cap. She got over there and I said, <laughs> I'm in the beauty room. You can, you can let yourself in. And it was a real 20 people. It was like a bunch of 20 people in there. And she talked about, I thought you were talking about it was going to be three people and you over exaggerating. That's the problem when you're the dramatic friend. Nobody believes you when it's really a scene, bitch. But you didn't purposely not going to come get me from the door and have me walking through all these strings. Well, think about it. I really didn't want to come back out there again because at that point, bitch, I didn't have my wig on. I was looking like Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Girl, did you show your man my work? What'd he say? Yes, he loved it. Yes, I'm about to get out. Think about it, though. I'm just starting out. Imagine when I really learn how to work it. No, for real. But you are learning. I am. Yeah, you. I feel like you've learned already. So I did. Just like, I'm just yeah. perfecting it. Yeah, perfecting more. I more. still need to figure out how that, to get that thing to stop moving. Oh, yeah. Turn but it I've been, been watching YouTube videos, off. but nobody said nothing yet. Huh? Is your trouble? Nobody said nothing yet. My um, photographer friends, I'm going to call them. You know, um, I just asked them. Yes. Let's Girl, let me show you this. Okay, I gotta go. It's a secret bye. <laughs> what is going on? Somebody trying to get us? <laughs> bitch, who gonna fucking get us? We in a car garage and a security. Look at me. I'm giving bad bitch. Period. You bitches can never. I gotta do the pay the party thing. What the fuck? Well, thank you. That was nice. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> look at Aaron look like a hoe. <laughs> it's the look back, honey. It's the look back for me. about this little little private party so we knew something was up was it a private party or a scam 
I don't know, but we knew something was up because let me tell you. So when we got in there, it was empty. It was kind of yeah. It was not kind of. It was empty. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I gotta fix my ISO. So let me tell y'all. So when we got in there, it was like really nobody in there. But we was just like optimistic. More so me. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna get lit. It's gonna be lit. So then designer came in there, and the lady was like, y'all want me in designer section? We were like, well, here. We just here already. Yeah, we just already here in the vibes. So then I'm like asking people, is it gonna get more packed? Then they talking about it's an influencer table over there, it's a party over there, it's this, that, and this, that. So girl, they just slips it in so easy. Does unfortunately designer won't be here tonight. He said it as he was performing. He said it as he was performing. Instead he of was us. like, so we just about to spin this. We about to spin brother, this for my brother. Video. And he just played the song. And I'm just like Bitch, you knew all along. Y'all knew that he was not going to be here. So, Fabio didn't even perform. But, I mean, it was all right. We got out. We seen it, but... It was a nice venue. It was nice because we enjoyed each other's company. It was like almost a little girl's kiki. So, we was laughing True. the whole fucking time. True. But, I'm wearing this outfit again, bitch. Same. And I'm going to take good pictures of <laughs> I should have brought my motherfucking camera. That's what we should have did. We could have got some Hollywood Boulevard flicks. Fuck them up. I did not Hollywood in so long. Me neither, because I came down here when I first moved here. I'm like, ooh, let me come see what it's giving. And then when I see what it's giving, I said, oh, let me Never need to come back. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. I thought it was going to be glamorous, bitch. Me too. Put that's your seatbelt on. I, I am. Uh, that's safe. why I just moved my bag. To put that myself. was not why, bitch. I yes, it you. was. Uh, I <laughs> no, they ain't fucking more popping. I can't party with them. Yo, these restaurants. Uh -huh. You hungry? I could eat some, but I can't say I'm I'm proud of myself. I ain't drink nothing. This is something to do. I know I need to force me to drink them. Because I needed drink. somebody to take me to champ. Okay, the fact that we walked out with two drink cards, that's how you know it wasn't lit. Yeah, they gave us a little free drink cards. Three drink cards. <laughs> and we still got two. Well, I'll spend a block on a one day. But they, like <laughs> she said, they're a new club. So I think they do Ballet just be popping. Ballet do be popping. I ain't been there but one time, but at one time I went, it was a lot of people. Yeah. What's this? You know, like, Is it weed in it? Yeah. <gasps> Stop fucking playing, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Bite a little piece so I can taste myself. Girl, they be cute. They lit. be lit in there too. They do. Lit. I've been in there. Mm -hmm. What the fuck they got? You know I want to go buy. We should go buy a strip club. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, that's not what. I say go buy, not pass by. Oh. Purchase. I want to buy um a pair of Rick Owens shoes. I love Rickle. I like them because I feel like it's a good shoe to be like casual. It is. It's the perfect You like shoe. them? Mm-hmm. You talking about like little boots and stuff? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they be in stores or they be like selling out and stuff? Because I don't never see them. They be so selling out. Mom, I got like the over the knee boots. Mmm. They were sold out a lot of places, but I just feel like you should order them. The ones I want. I think they all sold out. I Bye. think I might get some lace up ones. I want the little the little Chuck Taylor one. Mm -hmm. That's one. what I'm talking about. Yeah, those are really nice. They just easy going with everything. Yeah. Okay, bye bitch. I gotta go. Bitch, my night is over. Mm. Mm.
Hey y'all. Hey y'all, good morning. When I tell you, girl, this little morning was a little mess. And honestly, you know, something that I had to get comfortable with this morning that I normally don't like to do is just letting people have their own freaking narratives. Because when I tell you, if y'all could have seen the conversation I was having with people this morning, I'm like, are you fucking insane? It's no way in, it's no way in real life that you really think like this. But it's crazy because some people do. And now I have to understand, like, some people are just weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is my little fit that I'm gonna wear. Really cute. I'm about to head on out. You wanna come with me? I've been trying to give her the option. Yes, no? I don't know, but I'm going to Smorgasbord, so. If you wanna come, the opportunity presents itself. You can come, pumpkin. Let me just get her, oh, fuck. Cut my damn finger. All right, I'll be back. I'm about to talk to you. I want to get in the car. I'm trying to think what car I want to take today. I think I'm going to take the car because. Okay, Malfi. <laughs> because I don't feel like moving them around. Hey, y'all. So, I'm deciding to take my car because sometimes I just don't be feeling like doing all that moving and shaking around. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, me and my daughter. Is on our way. We're going to Smorgasbord. I told y'all about this last time, but see, last time I was in the middle of filming, so I went late. And me going late as fuck, honestly, was horrible because I ended up um, not really getting the place to eat at where I like to really eat at. So that's what I'm going to do. Go to the place I like to eat at. Okay, so I'm gonna see y'all in a minute when I get there. Okay, so I'm in the car. So basically what I was trying to say is, I don't know why, but it's been this problem or this thing where, so what I was saying is, everybody knows, like if you're friends with me, I'm not that, what the fuck, my hair is stuck in the damn thing. Everybody knows that I'm not that friend like, where basically i'm very blunt like anybody that's friends with me know that i'm very blunt i'm very honest no i'm not rude um sometimes people are offended by what i say because i'm so honest but it's never intended to be rude and if they ever tell me they feel like i was being rude i'd be like oh no i was just really being honest but you know i apologize you felt like i was being rude but it's been a thing where like i have been telling people the truth about themselves or speaking out on certain things and they have just been getting so bothered by it and I think that that's like, uh, I don't know, like I feel like I'm now understanding the type of friends that I have in my life or friends that I need in my life or friends that can take what I dish out because I definitely would love, like for example, I love when people hold me accountable. Like if I do something to bother you, hold me accountable for it. If I do something that upsets you, let me know. Because, let me put my seatbelt on because y'all be eating me up. But because, let me know. Because that's how I be, a, that's how you become a better friend to a person. Or that's how you become a better partner to a person is because if I do something that bothers you, instead of sitting on your heart and letting it pass by and just not saying anything and charging it to the game, then you're letting me know, okay, Tay, you did this to bother me. I didn't like that. Versus me just going along thinking I'm, what I'm doing is okay. And then you blow up later on. My whole thing is, my whole thing is, I'm not going to, who the fuck is that? What is she doing? My whole thing is like, so like for example, if a friend come over to my house and their outfit looks not the best, and they, now if you don't ask me, I'm not gonna say, because you're not asking me. If you come on my house and you think your outfit flying, you don't say nothing like, girl, that's your outfit. Now you say, hey, Tay, do you think this look good together? I'm like, oh no, I don't think this look good. Like, this need to be changed. Or if you, let me not use that one. If somebody is like, 
let's say we go out to eat together me and a friend and they just randomly bring a friend without telling me then i would be like hey i don't like the fact that you just brought somebody without telling me you know today i didn't really want to be in other people's energy only your energy or you know just next time let me get a little heads up so i can mentally prepare myself just stuff like that like those are things that i tell people when i do certain things if people don't like it and they don't say nothing then they don't like it's like i don't know and then when they do bring it up it'll be months later or years later and i'm like um how do you expect me to deal with something or how do you expect me to dissolve a problem of something that i did that happened months ago or years ago like in that moment if you had said something i could have cleared myself up and give or take I guess there could they could be telling me in this moment now for future reference but you know with us being humans we evolve and we change on a regular basis like that's just how it is being a human so you could be bringing something to me months later for example you don't like the way that I delivered or talked something to you and like I said, I'm the, I'm always evolving and changing. Let's say I don't even talk like that. Evolve. Let's say I did something to bother you months ago, and then I started evolving on my own because you know I just just started changing. I don't know why naturally, but let's say months later, you bring to me like, hey, I didn't like that you did this months ago, and then the person you're bringing it to now, me, it's like I'm not even that person no more. So it's like you bringing it to my attention when it's like like what do you want me to do about that like i could apologize for it but you should have brought it to me initially that's what i feel like like i'm not gonna say it's an exp expiration date on things that people do and it's not an expiration date on people's feelings but i just feel like with me i'm just more vocal like if you do something that upsets me or bothers me i'm gonna tell you in the moment or at least within that couple days versus waiting weeks and i feel like a lot of people have not been able to take it like me telling them things that they've done to bother me. And then it's like, I'm, the way I've been looking at my friends, cause I had to tell Lily, like the way I've been looking at my friends now is, or before was like, if we have an argument or disagreement, I know before I used to be like, I'm cutting that bitch off, we done, we not friends no more. And it seems like that's the type of friendships I want. Like I want friendships where if me and you have a little falling out or a little disagreement, it's like, okay, we just gonna deal with it and pick back up and we still cool. I don't want friends that if we have any little argument and bitch, we just not friends no more. After I done told you my business, you done told me your business. I done poured into you, you done poured into me. The whole friendship going down the hill because of one situation. I don't want friends like that because to me, it's like, the friendship is always going to be temporary or have some type of expiration date on it because let's just be honest we're all human it's unlikely that you're going to meet a person and y'all never going to have any type of disagreement if we're being honest so you know i just been in a space of trying to really like let that go but like i said earlier when i was saying some people would never have the same access to me i was talking about motherfucking people that i had dated and communicated and talked to because it's so crazy how people change up on your ass but you know that's to be expected and it's like frustrating as fuck because it's like when did this side of you come out or when did you start acting like this or when did you start being like this but you know y'all just let me know and comment below what y'all think because i feel like that was something that i really was just taking in stride like bitch what but like i said me and my baby are on our way to smorgasbord she's in the back seat let me show y'all her moo moo then um then come here I don't know where she at, but she back there somewhere. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get there. Bye y'all. In line for Strip Daddy and the line is so freaking long. So me and my sidekick are just waiting, but I came a lot earlier because last time, remember it was sold out because I came too late. I think so I can't wait earlier, but this line is so damn long. Okay, I'm done. I'm finally finished. I turn my album in Monday. Hope y'all can feel it. You know this life that I'm living. Get so hated and busy. Trying to balance my love life and handle my business. Had to take me a minute to get my paperwork in order. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. I've had one in such a long time. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. There's 
sonic shrimp some macaroni and cheese noodles pineapple and rice you can't blue get open the side you make a right and then a left i'm in the middle under the green umbrella <laughs> <laughs> So my food was really, really good. My food was really good. I still have one. I'm going to take it back to the house. And then my baby is asleep. And again, she wore her little stuff out. So right now I'm posting us a little TikTok. And yeah, then we're going to get ready to leave because I think this guy is coming to my house to put together this thing for me. So we'll see y'all. The best mommy and me combo, baby. That was a cute. That was a cute ass little outing for me and my daughter. I know she's tired though because. Hey so I'm literally getting my bookshelf put together right now and on my computer. I'm trying to figure out what pictures. What pictures I should post from today because I did a photo shoot or well, I guess took pictures I don't know if you call it a photo shoot or not no more when I'm taking my own pictures now so well, when I did my own photos so I changed into my jammies so I'm more comfortable is this the camp is this the And I need to edit a hair review tonight too. See. The photos I got up in this bitch. Oh no. I'm just, um, there ain't no photos on none of these things. I don't know where Denim at. She must be taking a nap. Hey, Denim. Denim. Where you at? Okay, see y'all later. Hey y'all, so here's the two dressers. I already put one inside of here and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just put the other ones in now. So let me go ahead and set y'all up for me to drag them up in here. And then move this over. Ooh. Hey y'all. So I'm over here thinking of my video schedule because I feel like I want to start consistently posting on my main channel again. I know y'all really cannot see me. So I want to start really consistently posting, consistently posting on my main channel again. So the way I thought about it is if I film all the videos in the first week of May, then that'll have me prepared for the rest of the month. So y'all should do this with me if you're a content creator. So for YouTube, it's so hard for me to like work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it like that. So what I'm trying to do is plan out to film all video, the whole month of videos in the first week. And that way the content is done for the month. Basically ahead. So right now I already kind of filmed for this week so like for example today's video i dropped um what video i dropped today 
oh i dropped the video on like media kits and stuff like that so i'm gonna do youtube media kit and then you figure tomorrow is monday and then tuesday i'm gonna drop my next video which would be the so you figure then next sunday i'm gonna drop Okay, yeah, because that'll plan it out. Oh, my God, I'm going to be... I'm lit. I'm done. Okay, so, yeah, that's how I'm going to do my little content thing because that's just the easiest way for me to do it, to be honest. It really is, not unless I just put it right here, but period. Also, I got my waist trainer on. Y'all had told me about getting that waist trainer that wrap around like 100, and million, 100 million kajillion times. I put it on, and I actually really like it. Let me show y'all from afar. So I actually really like it. Put this on because y'all can't see nothing. Oh okay, so let me show y'all. So look, booyah. It works really good though. So I like it. Also, this is in my Amazon store if you guys are interested. And by the time you guys see this video, I am doing 50% off sale on glimmerslatte.com merch because I'm trying to clear inventory and i'm gonna got some new stuff coming through so make sure you definitely go check it out because this is the first time it's ever been 50 percent off oh, so i had to change into something more comfortable girl i got me a cup of strawberries because i don't have no cups stay on the dishwasher <laughs> i mean no bowls no i ended up ordering two things some light i had to change to something comfortable though i didn't order me some lights and some batteries so I ended up ordering these little lights, like this. And basically, that's gonna make it look like it's lit up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna stick all these on. Can y'all see that? So for example, like, y'all see I was giving it like a little showcase look? You know what I'm saying? So right now, I went and got different colors too. You can't really see them cause it's like so bright in here. But, if you guys are interested in getting these lights or these show shelves and stuff, check out my Amazon store. Cause that's exactly where I'm gonna put all this stuff at. Mm. I bought like so many lights. I know it's like a hundred. Oh, and then each thing got a little sticky. Paul, um. In the middle, it's supposed to be five and three fourths, which is exactly where I put it. So I'm gonna take this sticker, peel it off the back, and I'm gonna just literally try to put it in the middle. I'm trying to make sure these is kind of like, you know, the same. So this is like three and a half. This is like, girl, they will. <laughs> Let me see. That one and this one is. Okay, so I got them up, but I feel like the top three need some and these ones don't move. They need some, but I wanna see what they look like first. So I have a remote. is bright hmm. and then I can change the colors or we could do hey but how do I make it white This one, this one is not as bright. I don't know why. I'm about to fix it though. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys and come back on here real quick. Even though my camera died, but I'm going to use my phone. And basically, this is what ended up happening with my lights. So this is my lights 
It looks really good, right? And then if I want to, I could turn them all to white. Um, and then, like I said, I have to put the other ones up here so it'll be really fully finished. But I think so far I do like the look of it. And yeah, y'all, this is what it's looking like. <laughs> 